although it borrows things from Aventus, it actually does a little bit of its own thing. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. I just wanna do another review today on Abercrombie Authentic. I think I believe this fragrance came out in I think 2019. Uh, one of my subscribers on Instagram, Josh Platner, I'll put his Instagram down below. He suggested that I review this. He told me where to get it for a very affordable price, about $30 or $35. As of me filming this review, I've just looked up online and this one is still available for $30, $35. They used to have this on the original Abercrombie website, but good old Abercrombie took it down again. I'm probably one of the biggest people who like Abercrombie as far as fragrance reviewers on YouTube. I'm already a little biased, I like what they do. But when they do stuff like this, they come out with fragrances and they just take them away. It's like, um, you know what the fragrance community is, right? We like hype fragrances and then if it gets good, everyone buys it. So it's like, if this gets good, how am I supposed to tell everyone to buy it? Thankfully, it's on eBay for super, super, super cheap. Way more than it would be on the uh, original website. But at first, I was like, okay, I can't find any notes because it's not on the website. But then this was listed on Fragrantica. So I got the notes real quick. Let me see if I could stretch and see them. First note is clearwood and grapefruit, bergamot, ginger, suede, moss, sage. Okay, it just keeps going down the line. There's like two more. First note in there is clearwood and then the bergamot and then the ginger. To me, this is kind of like an Aventus style fragrance, an Aventus style clone, which I know us in the fragrance community, there's been a million and one uh, Aventus fragrances. People don't even want to see a video about it anymore. Although it borrows things from Aventus, it actually does a little bit of its own thing. I wrote up some pros and cons here and I also gave it a full rating as well. So the pros, it's very cheap. Like I said, 30 bucks for a big 3.4 ounce. Normally Abercrombie's, some of them are hard to find on eBay. And if you have to buy them full price, they're actually way inflated, like overpriced for what they are nowadays. So it's very cheap. I like the bottle, the quality bottle. I like that it's kind of like this jean stitching right here. It's a pretty solid bottle. It's really heavy. I would say this is probably a little bit more thick than the 3.4 ounce of Fierce that I have back in the day. I'm honestly gonna put this in the pro and the cons because Aventus smells so good, it gets so many compliments, but it's been like okay enough with the Aventus. There's how many Aventus clones is there? There's what is this probably like 10 or 15? And there's probably ones that there's so many that I haven't even smelled. This is one of the only fragrances that is an Aventus clone that borrows enough from it that you would say is Aventus but it's also very, very different as well. It totally does enough to be warranted of its own fragrance. Club de Nuit or Al Haramain or all these other ones, they're more of like a straight up copy of Aventus. So it's just, they're all smell the same. They all go for that. Maybe they tweak a little bit here. This one actually does have a little bit of uniqueness to it. It's almost got a little bit of this, when they talk about that clear wood, a little bit of this like woodiness that they use in some of the Hollister fragrances, like I can almost smell a little bit of in there. Generally, it's just got a more fruity style vibe. To me, I almost get like a, it smells like that new juicy fruit note that everybody uses mixed with Aventus. I don't really have fragrances that use that new style juicy fruit note that everybody uses. I can't tell you how many times on new fragrances I've smelled, it's like a, new age style juicy note and I smell it in everything. But then they also mix it well with the Aventus and the Aventus style smell doesn't really come out until you know halfway through and like later on. In the top it kind of smells like this a little bit of robust mix of fresh fruits and like I said it smells it's got its own smell. There actually wasn't too many pros or cons with this one. There's a lot of fragrances where I could list five, six, seven things on pros and cons, but cons basically only had two was the performance. The performance is actually really bad on this. The person that suggested that I review this, he said that he got pretty good longevity and projection with it. I think he mentioned, he said some stat or statistic that I was like, well, if that's true, then it would last pretty long. But for me, it doesn't really last that long. It doesn't, for me, it's just, it's really poor. Like I'll, I'll get to my rating for it in a little bit, but I wore this a lot, a lot of, probably like three, four, five days. And it just seemed like it was just non-existent, completely not there. Now I will say with Aventus style fragrances, for some reason they have this, like Club Nina Wee does this, where you spray it a bunch and you don't smell it pretty much at all, but then you'll get compliments two, three, four hours later walking by people because it's so pungent and there'll be times where the cloud is like maybe even seven feet away when you're walking and you don't smell it. So it could be this style fragrance and it could be the fact that I haven't got a compliment with it because if I got a compliment way after I sprayed it, I would know that I still smell like it. But from my testing, that is definitely the weakest point. 
is the longevity and projection. And this one would be one that I probably would highly recommend if it had average, you know, longevity and projection. That's pretty much the only thing. And then it also, because it smells like Aventus, honest, that's a pro and a con. I do want to say that it does do enough to where it's not going to smell just like Aventus, which is really, really nice. It's not like one note is mixed up in it or anything like that. Smell rating, 7.5 to an 8. I would say likability, 8.5 to a 9, just because Aventus gets so many compliments. This smells like Aventus. It has that, that juicy fruit smell, which I think is very, very likable. I may not think it's the best, but I think it's very likable. I think Aventus is very likable, so I'd say this is 8.5 to 9. And longevity, I would go into a range of about a 5 to a 6. That's pretty much the one thing that holds it back from being a really, really good scent. I think Abercrombie has dabbled with trying to make an Aventus-style fragrance before. Uh, the smell is definitely better than their last Aventus clone, but I feel like their last Aventus clone was a little bit stronger. I think it was called Endeavor. You could get this for $30, $35 if you're interested. If you like this review, go pick it up. If you're like, nah, that projection's trash. I don't want Aventus, then, you know, pass it on. But this might be one that you might want to pull the trigger on real quick because I don't know how long it's going to be out there. It's already taken off Abercrombie's website. And the fact that they sell this for a 3.4 ounce for $30 is really good. Most of the time when things go out of, you know, production for a while, they're actually go up in price. Maybe that'll happen. Anyways, guys, Abercrombie's new Aventus clone smells actually really good. Just needs some longevity and projection and tweaking. So let me know what you think of the video. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Have you smelled this fragrance? Have you not smelled this fragrance? Do you like Aventus? Do you not like Aventus? Please let me know down below. We're on the road to 25,000 subscribers, and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully, you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.